Bristol, Virginia school officials celebrated their first day of school in a new facility today. News 5's Johnny Nordello spoke with school leaders about how they feel about starting off in a brand new place. After years of work and planning, some Bristol, Virginia students finally got to celebrate a special first day of school. To see the two years of work that uh, men and women have put in to be here at this site to now have a school for all the students uh, in the city of Bristol is an exciting thing for all of us. The last time a new school opened in Bristol, Virginia was 50 years ago. Now Virginia Intermediate School offers what leaders say are some of the best resources in the region. This includes a 3D printing lab and a wheelchair accessible playground. Jared Rader is the principal of the new school, and he says this was a much needed addition. A new facility shows our kids what's possible in life. You can do that hands Paula Pascal is a fourth grade teacher. She tells me anticipation for the new facility made coming back to school something to look forward to. The new school really just kind of drowns out the sadness of summer ending, um, and I think that it becomes more exciting to them to be in the new school. Between staff and students, the school stays busy. We're at 700 on our enrollment of students. That's uh, 175 students in each grade level. So that's uh, nine classrooms in each of our grades. We also have about 135 uh, teachers and staff. To ease nerves, school leaders decided to show students around their new school. We've done a school tour with each of our grade levels and myself and all their teachers, we've walked them around the building so they can see all the things, the art room, the music room, the cafeteria, the gym, the really cool library and the awesome playgrounds. Pascal tells me she wants students and staff to feel comfortable and happy. With a new school comes new faces and new challenges and I think that just having them encourage each other and, and me encouraging them and encouraging other staff, I think that that's something that I want to implement. School leaders tell me that their main goal moving forward is to be able to provide quality education for students. In Bristol, Virginia, Johnny Nordello, News 5, WCYB. Meanwhile, the first day of school caused a traffic backup on Suncrest Drive this morning and afternoon. You're taking a look at videos submitted to us by a WCYB viewer. You can see some parents parking their cars and actually walking their children to school. Now, the city says they are aware of the traffic situation. They will continue to monitor the situation and make adjustments. They are asking if you're not dropping off children at the school, to use an alternate route and avoid that area in the morning and in the afternoon. They've also posted a video for parents to better understand the route you need to take. You can find that video on our website at WCYB.com.